Well, let me talk about the space first, um, because it's a huge part of how it does impact um, the community. So back in 2020, back in 2013, um, when we were at the West location, um, we had moved to shut this place down. This was once Kenyon Court, Kenyon Court Detention Center. Um, it was originally erected to criminalize and punish young people. Um, in 2018, we got gentrified out of our space in Inglewood and we were able to, it was like, okay, look, if you're gonna push us out, at least give us that building that we shut down. Um, and so now we've turned um, this old courthouse uh, that punished youth and criminalized youth, and now we have transformed this place into um, a school, a youth center, that um, we basically turn courtrooms to classrooms, and uh, we've been in, in a, a place of training, teaching, and liberation for our young people right here in the community where most of the young people on this side of town are forgotten about. It warms my heart that we're doing Know Your Rights trainings in a courtroom that is now a classroom. It warms my heart to know that we are educating and empowering young people. Like the name of our school says, the school is called Free LA. And Free LA is an acronym for the fighting for the revolution to educate and empower Los Angeles. Um, we have people who occupy this space now and um, who were also locked up in these very cells that we have here. And so they come here and I'm like, wow, I remember I got charged here. It's a community center now? And he has the keys. He loves to talk about the fact that I was charged and criminalized in this building and I was locked up in those cells but now I have the keys. That is powerful. I think it's changed a lot of people's lives, uh, just like it changed mine. Uh, I was already a high school dropout at the time. I was 17 years old, um, had no plans in going back to school, just because it was a traditional school. I didn't really like school, it was boring, you know? And, um, and honestly, when, they, when YJC moved to, like across the street from my house, it changed not only me, but like a lot of young people's lives in that community. Um, because I was able to get a high school diploma others and, and so did others. I try to mentor everybody, <laughs> you know, like young people, especially like when they don't want to go to class or they just need some a break, you know, from being in class. Sometimes I'll, you know, hold them under my wing and be like, hey, you know what, look, learn this, this and that. You know, there's also money to be made. You just got to know like what trade you want to do. Just opening that door to young people and showing them what it's like so that way they can make the right decision and you don't always have to go to college, but you know, there's other ways of making money. So that was one of the things that I do as mentor. When, when, they're in a, when, they're in, when they have their cap and gowns, you know, that day, like some of them just don't believe it that that day has come, you know? And then just seeing that we, we were able to help them out in that way, because those kids could have been high school dropouts forever, you know, if schools like this didn't exist. So I think we need to push more like in having more youth centers, you know, and, and um, Youth center slash like continuation schools, alternative schools, to be able to help a lot of young people. That's what that's what's needed, I think, most. I'm really excited about the fact that we got our legal clinic started back up. Three of our students, since we've gotten the thing started back up, they had cases that they were fighting. One of them has two strikes already. Our legal clinic gave him court support. They were able to dismiss one of his cases. Um, another one got his all of his stuff dismissed. And it's simply because the judges are getting to know who YJC is because we are really supporting our students and reversing the school to prison pipeline. And that to me is like a beautiful, like um, transformative piece of this building that there used to be police officers and children in shackles up and down these hallways and now they're walking, running through here, their laughter, they're playing around, you know, um, and it's just beautiful to see that level of transformation right here on Central Avenue.